Hey guys, what's up? It's all about Mike 18 here with another movie review, and today I'm going to review the highly anticipated film, The Avengers. Guys, I just saw The Avengers today on opening day. It's Friday, May 4th, as I'm filming this video right now. Um, I told you guys I was going to see it on Saturday in previous videos. However, I I couldn't help it. I had to go see it today, so I went on opening day. It was crowded. Oh, it was the most crowded I've ever seen for a movie before. But I was so glad I went. Let me just say this much, guys. This is absolutely the best superhero movie I have ever seen in my entire life. It is. It is perfect. D Director J Joss Whedon, I, ho I hope I'm saying your name right. You, congratulations, you made a perfect movie. Um, it had every single thing I was looking for in a movie. It had a perfect story. It had a perfect, ca perfect characters. It had perfect setting. It had a perfect, um, uh, was it perfect humor. The the visual effects in this were were outstanding. I just absolutely loved this movie. The mo one of the most, the biggest action movies ever released on the big screen. I absolutely loved the Avengers, guys. Um, and I'm I'm gonna start off this review, and um, I'll give you guys my rating and everything at the end and at the end of the video. However, I do have to say this much before I start this review. I have not read the comics, so all of my knowledge. All I've not read the comics of Iron Man, of of Thor, of Captain America, of Hulk. I haven't read the comics, so all my knowledge for of these characters, I have no more than what has been shown in the movies. All my knowledge comes from the movies, none of it from the comics, because I have not read them. I just wanted to point that out uh, to you guys in this uh, review. Anyway, uh, just. Uh, giving a little uh, plot, I don't want to spoil anything, movie just came out today. You have Loki, the main uh, villain from Thor. Um, he has returned, he has uh, come back to Earth, and Loki wants only one thing. He wants to take over the Earth, he wants to, um, that's what he wants, he wants to become the ruler of Earth. And he um, gets this alien uh, invasion force uh, known as the Chitauri that wants something from Loki, and Loki wants them to him uh, them to conquer Earth um, for him, and it's um, that that's what Loki wants. He, that he needs the Chitauri. That's his army. And from that point on, um, Samuel Jackson, um, who's playing Nick Fury, who's in the uh, the other five movies that led up to the Avengers. Um, he realizes he's the head. Of, he's the head of Shield. He realizes I need to put together the Avengers. Um, Loki is this. He's he can bring a lot of damage to Earth. So let's put together this team. So he gets Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, and Captain America together to form the Avengers. Um, and then you also have Black Widow and Hulk. How could you forget, how, how could you forget those two? Um, so there you go. There's your movie, guys. The characters from Iron Man. Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America First Avenger have come back in this movie. Um, the main superheroes from those movies are back in this movie. And just all the characters alone made this movie perfect. But anyway, the story of this movie was perfect. The, whoever wrote this, uh, jo Joss Whedon, I think, I actually think he wrote this and directed. I'm not sure though. Perfect story, that's all I'm going to say. It was, it was great. Absolutely great. Um... Talking really quick about the characters. You guys know most of the actors and characters, so I'm going to go really quick through the list. You have Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, um, absolutely, uh, or, and Tony Stark. Absolutely loved Robert Downey Jr. in this movie. He was great. He provided most of the humor, which I'll talk about uh, in the humor later. Um, love Robert Downey Jr. Chris Evans is Captain America. He is back. Absolutely love Chris Evans um, as Captain America. He was the leader of this movie. That's why I loved uh, Chris Evans in this movie as Captain America. And... Um, that um going on with the characters we have chris hemsworth as thor chris hemsworth is great as thor i love thor's character in this movie thor was better in this than he was in thor thor did a lot more action he got involved a lot more than he than in thor he really didn't do too much in thor itself which is kind of sad but thor was great in the avengers um now you guys all know how Edward Norton played Hulk in, uh, slash Bruce Banner in, uh, The Incredible Hulk. Well, Mark Ruffalo is the Hulk in this movie. I, I uh, knew that was happening. I knew, um, there was some kind of reason why Edward Norton didn't come back. I have no clue why. I thought, I thought Mark Ruffalo was great as the Hulk. I didn't have any problems with him, really. I would have loved to see Edward Norton on the screen with the rest of the characters, but still, 
I loved uh, Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo wasn't bad at all uh, as Hulk, and I really loved the Hulk in this movie. Hulk was awesome. Um, you had uh, Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow. Um, I can go on and on, make videos and videos about how much I love Scarlett Johansson, but um, I'm just going to say that she was great, and this is Black Widow. She had a lot of screen time on this, which was great. Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye. Um, I loved being Hawkeye in this. We saw Hawkeye and Thor in a brief cameo appearance in Thor, but he was uh, a lot more involved in the Avengers. I loved what they did with this character. I really did. I'm um, not going to spoil it, uh, what happened to his character in the movie, but I absolutely loved how they, um, what happened to his character. Uh, that's all I can say without spoiling it. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and then you had, as the main villain, Tom Hiddleston playing Loki. Loki was great. Uh, one of the best movie villains out there. Um, absolutely. And Tom Hiddleston is, was great as Loki. He really was. All the actors gave solid, great performances. Perfect performances uh, as the characters they were playing. Um... And then how can you not forget Samuel Jackson as Nick Fury. Samuel, um, Nick Fury was in this movie a lot more than he was in the other ones. He was in Iron Man 2 the most um, out of the five movies leading up to the Avengers. But he was, in, he was uh, involved mostly in the Avengers. Uh, I loved seeing him on, um, on screen more than he was in the other films. However, he was not an Incredible Hulk. I don't think he was in every other one, I believe. Um, but I absolutely love Nick Fury in this. Um, he was great. Uh, also, you had other characters I'm not going to go into because I'm running out of time. You had Clark Gregg as Agent Coulson came back in this movie. I love Agent Coulson. Um, you had Stellan Scar, Scar. I don't know how to say his last name. I do apologize for that. He was back as Eric Dr. Selvig um, from Thor. He was. Uh, he really wasn't in this too much, but he was uh, very important in this movie. I will say that. Um, and there were some other minor characters I'm not going to go into. Colby Smolder, uh, Colby Smolders, I don't know how to say her last, um, I don't, um, believe I know her last name. If it's Smolders or Smolder, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, she plays Agent Maria Hill, a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, um, and that's really all I'm going to talk about for the characters. But the cast was great, the characters were amazing. I loved, another thing I loved about this movie was the tension that developed between the Avengers, especially Iron Man and Captain America in one scene. It really made this movie, it really made the story really good. Um, now, really quickly, I want to talk about the setting. The setting, uh, was in many different places. One, uh, one part of the movie was in India, another part was in Germany. Sorry, uh, that's really not a spoiler, uh, at all. And then the last 40 minutes of the last hour of the movie was, uh, in New York City. I love movies set in New York City, which is why I love the last, uh, 40 minutes, uh, to an hour, uh, an hour to 40 minutes of The Avengers. Um, absolutely love movies set in New York City. As for the humor, there was a lot of humor in this movie. I actually laughed most of the time at, um, at the humor that was in the movie. Um, I thought it was funny. Um, the writer, like I said, I'm not sure if it's Joss Whedon or not, was great uh, with the humor. Um, a lot, lo The audience was laughing most of the time throughout this movie. Um, and the humor was great. Um, as for the visual effects, this movie has some of the best visual effects ever put on film it as the best obviously the best visual effects since transformers dark on the moon in my opinion the avengers was great with the visual effects i absolutely loved this movie mainly because of the visual effects um and the action this movie had so much action it was too much actually but i i'm not I, the thing is i wasn't complaining about it. there was just so much action happening at once at the end of the movie it was so much to take in but I, I absolutely loved uh, the action in this movie. And like I said, um, another thing that I really enjoyed was the tension between uh, some of the Avengers. Um, really quickly, guys, I want to talk about the rating. This movie is rated PG-13. Um, kids can go see this movie. I'm sure tons of kids want to go see all these characters on the big screen. Um, they're going to get all excited. Trust me, guys, uh, parents, if you guys are watching this video, kids can go see this movie, it's not bad, there's hardly any bad language at all, I don't even recall any, any bad language in this movie, really don't, wasn't bad at all, there was uh, some violence, uh, a char uh, character does get killed, I'm not going to say who it is, sorry, um, that's not a spoiler, I'm not saying who it is, but uh, characters do die, people do are seen getting killed, so do have to be aware of that, um, last thing, I want to mention, um, actually I believe that's it. I talked about the rating and everything. Um, now to go ahead and give this movie a rating for myself. I thought long and hard about this and I decided to go with it. I gave this movie a 10 out of 10. 
The Avengers, that means this movie is perfect. You can't get any better than this. Um, I gave this movie a 10 out of 10. It's uh, clearly on my top 10, on my top 5 list of movies. Um, I will talk about it. This was better than Transformers Dark on the Moon in another video. I have several videos planned um, that talk about the Avengers. I, I'm going to talk about who my favorite Avengers character was in, in some of these videos. Um, how Avengers does in the box office. I will release those videos soon, but right now... Um, Talking about the movie, um, giving a short uh, a review as I'm making it as short as possible. However, um, like I said, I gave it a rating 10 out of 10 because this movie deserved a 10 out of 10. It had, I'm saying this yet again, a great story, great characters, great humor. I laughed most of the time during the movie. Um, and Robert Downey Jr. Uh, did most of the humor in this movie, uh, but you guys would expect him to do most of it. Um... Let me think. Uh, what else? Um, actually, most all the characters, all the humor was like the same. Like most of the characters um, made you laugh most of the time. It wasn't just I. It wasn't just Robert Downey Jr. It was like most of the other actors too. So that was great. But um, anyway, as I was saying, great story, great characters. Um, a absolutely perfect visual effects, especially. You got the battle in New York City between the Chitauri and the Avengers. You guys all knew that that was going to happen. I'm sorry. You you probably uh, should know that. Um, you had that big battle at the end of the movie. It was awesome. The visual effects were perfect. And it wasn't the action wasn't just in the last hour of the movie. There was action in the middle of the movie. There was action in the first scene of the movie. And it was perfect. This was one of the best action movies I have ever seen. I have nothing... But I really have no complaints about this movie. Alright, here's one thing I'm going to complain about this movie. Here it is. There was just so much happening at once with the story. The story was going to different characters. Like, it was showing, like, Hulk in one part. Then it would go to Iron Man. Then it would go to, like, Thor. And this is in the exact order. But then it would go back to Hulk or whatever. Um, so much was happening at once. It was very hard for me to just take it all in. So, you know what? I am going to see the Avengers again. Most of you, I, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I'm going to see it next Saturday. I'm going to see it in 3D. Um, I saw it in 2D today. Um, didn't feel like seeing it in 3D today. Um, and it was so great. I'm going back to see it again in 3D. That's how great this movie was. I, I, am, I am not kidding you guys. This is the best superhero movie ever. And when you guys, most of you probably knew this movie was going to be great. When you have all these different characters in this movie, um, it, just the characters alone make the movie great. But then you have all these other factors, like I said, the story and all the humor and all the um, well, jokes and everything and all the um, visual effects, the action and um, the suspense in some parts of the movie. The, the tension between the characters was perfect. You have all these other factors that make the movie great and that's exactly what happened. Anyway, guys, I highly, highly recommend the Avengers. I recommend you see it in 2D. I will let you guys know next week. I'll do an, I'll, I'll make a little video about how good the 3D was of the Avengers when I go see it in 3D. Now I can't wait because I, I'm really, I'm fuzzy about some parts of the movie. Like there's some parts that I really, I want to have uh, more knowledge of because it, it was just happening so fast. That's why I'm going back to the theater next week to see it in 3D. Um, I'll let you guys know how it was, and I just want to give you guys one warning. If you're going to stay and watch the whole movie, which I know most of you are. You have to be crazy to leave this movie. You really do. Um, you have to stay. Even when the movie ends, the last scene, when the credits roll, you cannot leave. There's going to be one credit scene right after it shows, you know, the director, the cast, all that. It's going to show one post credit scene, which I didn't understand at all. It has to do with the comics. That's why I didn't understand it. Okay, fine. A lot of people left. However, I stood to the very, very end, showing all the credits, all the music, all the all the people that worked on this movie. And there was one other credit scene, kind of funny, not, not it was alright. Um, I was kind of glad to see it, it made me happy that I stood for it. Um, you have to stay for the end. It is not over when it shows that first post-credit scene. There is another one at the very, very end of the movie. So guys, there it is. Here's my review of the Avengers. I recommend, I predict that this movie is going to make over 150 million this weekend at the box office guys go see it this weekend please i want to see this movie number one at the box office i know it will be but i want to see it with high numbers this movie absolutely deserves it i'm buying it's probably opening day when it comes out on blu-ray i'm running out of time right now guys hope you enjoy this review i got more avengers related videos coming soon because i absolutely love this movie 
perfect, guys. Absolutely perfect. You're not going to get any better of a movie than this. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. Um, more videos coming.